Here I'm going to be using Canva to create images from a video. It's very easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description to do that, or simply use it to get free access to Canva. Let's begin. So when you're on your main dashboard, I just simply typed in presentation up at the top, and this I'm going to be going with the presentation 16 by 9 right here. Let's click that. And there's going to be a plethora of templates that you can use, but I just want to start from scratch here. So I'm going to go with create a blank presentation. This is going to be the bare bones version where just to show you what it's going to be like adding the images and going from there. Okay. If you would like to get spiffy with some of the other templates, feel free to do so. Okay. So here's going to be the uploads. If you don't have any images yet, simply upload a file and they will show up right here. So I'm going to start adding some island images here. And what I want to do is just drag and drop them and make them a little bit bigger so that they're actually the full size there. Now all we have to do is simply find the images that we want to use and drag them into the next slide. And we're going to do the same thing. Have one we like, let's drag it into the next slide right there. Let's go with this one. Let's drag it into the next slide. And let's say we're going to do one more. We're going to go with this one right here. Pretty straightforward, right? Now what you can also do if you hover between the first and second one or any of them right here, this is going to be how we can add our transition. So let's start between the first one right here and click on add transition. All you have to do is hover over these and it'll showcase what these transitions look like. Instead of going through all of them, I happen to like match and move. So if you click on the one you want to use like this, you can keep it just on this one. Or let's see, is it match and move? Yeah, I do like that one. You can also make the duration a little bit shorter or longer. So if you really want it to take its time when it comes to dissolving and matching and moving, you can do that. I think about one second is going to be just fine. And also, if you like it so much, you can just apply it between all your pages and save you plenty of time, where now you can see all the transitions are added. One more thing before we finish off, you can present it too. Uh, what you can do is just do autoplay and it'll go through. However, I don't want to do that. If I hit escape, it's going to exit out of me recording, which I did previously. So just to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like. Now, most importantly, how you can actually save it, what you want to do is go to share. You want to go to download and this is most important obviously you don't want to do a pdf here since we want to save it as a video file we want to go to mp4 video make sure all the pages are selected which they are and this is how we can actually save it if you want the quality to be higher you can utilize canva pro but the last step of this is going to be clicking on download and you my friend have used canva to create a video from images which is pretty straightforward if this video helped you out be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton as well and if you made it to the end a virtual high five for you i will leave a link for a free gift in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into of course my name is james thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video